This is Raven coming at you in Season 26. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your set dungeon. Master your set dungeon with Ina's set. This is a really good set uh, for this season. Uh, do your set dungeon. And this dungeon is not too bad. It's got a few things that you definitely need in the dungeon to get it done. It's going to require a lot of cool down. But it's not that bad uh, once you get them grouped up and you can actually get this done and uh, get your achievement done for this season. Let's take a look at it. Let's go. I'm in the wrong one. Let's take a look at the, the journey here. got to go to champion mastermind master any set dungeon you got to complete this before you can even get your pet that's the main event the other ones are really easy you can use a diff different characters to do your set dungeon if you wish but I'm going to use a monk this season since I started out with it to uh, complete the season journey and get all the uh, rewards for season 26 but let's take a look at some of these skills that you'll need in the set dungeon there's a few things that are really important for this set dungeon let's go to the cube right here ice climbers this is real important in this dungeon because if you get froze you automatically fail the dungeon so you need to wear these or put them in a cube. You can do it either way. That's up to you. But you definitely need these. And I got the Ring of Royal Grandeur. Reduce the number of items needed. For set bonus by one. And I got Reaver. Reduce the remaining cooldown on one skills. I, you definitely need that. Or Ingoom. You can use Ingoom if you want. Either one works. But uh, this set here for the dungeon requires a lot of cooldown so you want to put cooldown everywhere you can get it if you can get it on on your rings get it on your rings your amulets and everywhere you can get cooldown put cooldown because uh it requires a lot of cooldown for this dungeon and i got a diamond in my helm because i'm wearing a crown it gives me more cooldown i got diamonds in my armor my pants for resistance for my wrist I'm wearing uh, Reapers. Health Globes restore 26% of your primary resources on this one. And for my shoulder, I'm wearing Mantle of Channeling. You can actually wear something different if you wish. You could wear this one here, Cyclone Strike reduces your damage. Taking 48% on this one. But you got to be careful with your damage. If you get too high, your Mystic Allies are going to kill all your monsters before you can group them up so you got to make sure that uh, you stay under 300,000 I'd like to be a little lower actually but this works okay 268,000 so I'm leaving it there but I do have cool down on the shoulders on the gloves I got cool down on my rings and for this ring I'm using ban of the rue your spirit generators generate 50% more spirit so I'm trying to get a, a, as much spirit as I can much speed as I can and as much cool down as I can on this set and for the gym here I got alteration and I got the ring of the zodiac for more cool down and for the gym stone of vengeance and then for the amulet I got cool down on it also I'm using hellfire amulet with a, another passive on it and it's up to you whatever amulet you want to use but put cool down on your amulet get as much cool down as you possibly can get and I got it on my weapon also and I'm using illusionary boots where you can move around without getting stuck in the monsters that way you can uh, circle them up and then you can hit a cyclone strike and uh, pull them all together this is important in the dungeon Let's take a look at these other skills. I got fleet footed. Increased movement speed by 10%. That's important. 
exalted soul spirit regeneration gives me more harmony harmony and then I got a beacon reduce all cool down by 20 percent I'm trying like I said I'm trying to get as much cool down as I possibly can and I got tempest rush on tailwind increase movement speed crippling I got rising tide crippling wave it generates additional spirit and then I got one through the reeds salvation here increase with increases more uh, speed gives me more speed cyclone strike implosion increase the distance enemies will be pulled towards you this is important in a dun dungeon because once you kind of just run in a circle or kind of get them grouped up a little bit and hit the cyclone strike and bunch them all up and then hit your mystic ally for them to, to attack them because you got to get a group of 10 five times in this dungeon it's important very important and then uh, dashing strike way of the falling star increase movement speed again mystic ally air ally and like I said uh, cyclone strike implosion it's important real important but let me show you the location of this you got to be on act two we're already on act two in town here you just walk over here Caldine Bazaar you go in here you walk all the way back let me show you the map right here we came in you just walk around it'll be right here in a corner you got to go in the sewer over here let me show you Walk I all the way around. And then they kill the monsters. The flooded causeway. You gotta go in there. It's not too difficult to get to. You go all the way back here. And it'll be in this corner. Right there. And you see where I came in? Right in the corner. Let's take a look at this. Dungeon of Inna's. Unleash your mystic allies on 10 enemies within 10 yards, 5 times. Do not get frozen for the duration of the dungeon. That's why them boots, ice climbers, are so important. You get froze one time, the dungeon's over with. And this right here, you got to group them up ten, in 10 and do that five times. That's why a uh, cyclone strike to group them up is so important. Um, I do want to mastery. That's what I'm going for. Let's go in here and see if we can do this. And I got the dashing strike. That really helps. Let's see if we can do this. That I got 16 on that one. That's good, fails. especially the first try. Oh, almost. At nine. That's good. It is not ready yet. Your one. strength fails. I don't know how that was one. You gotta keep your damage down, else your uh, allies will kill all the monsters. Might as well get rid of them. What, no 10 there, that's for sure. Great, I must You gotta get these big groups. We'll definitely 
get the basic, but I want the mastery. The storm breaks. My allies are killing my monsters too fast. Get recharged. You are defeated. Ooh. Oh, 13. I must wait to use that ability. I got 88 monsters left. That was 50. It is not ready yet. Your strength fails. Ooh, we might get this. We might get this. I got 53. I need a big old group though. They said only two. I got 41 monsters. Thirty-five monsters. They better be in a big group though, so I can't kill them. Fight is over. 27 monsters. I still got a chance. Oh, one all by itself. Over there. They're in a big group. I might get this. I got four out of five. strike comes in handy. Move around pretty good. I must wait there it is. Ah, oh, mastery. There it is. Good deal. Got it. I didn't think I was going to get it because I didn't have too many monsters left. I happened to get lucky and they are all in a group. But that's how to complete your mastery. You just got to get them grouped up just right. And it can be aggravating. Because, uh, if your allies, if you have too much damage, they'll kill your monsters too fast and you won't have uh, enough monsters to actually group up because they'll just wipe them out too fast. So you, you really got to watch your damage. Try to keep it way under, uh, I don't know, 200,000, 240,000 or something like that will work real good or even a little lower if you can get it there. But let's take a look at this map. It's actually a big old map. That's why you gotta have that speed. And that dashing strike. That works out really well. And a lot of cooldown. You gotta have a lot of cooldown. But it is a big map. Just gotta go through it. Try to wipe up, come in here and just do all this. And just go around. Try not to leave no monsters, because uh, if you leave one way back here, it takes time to get all the way back there. And if you only got under a minute left, you might not make it. But let's get back in town here. I need to go back. But you definitely got to have them ice climbers to, to get through this dungeon. Yet. What does one say to an ancient Because if you get froze, it, it's over with. You'll fail the dungeon automatically. That's one a necessity, ice climbers. And I use, uh, like I said, illusionary boots. is really important. And your damage. I got 268,000. Actually, I'd like to go a little lower. Because my allies was killing my monsters a little too quick. But it worked out. I did get the mastery. But I would like to have it a little lower. But anyway... Hey, 
if this was helpful you should take a look. give me a thumbs up this is Raven this is Raven out